Hey guys, today in this video, we're going to be going over some things that you need to know before you start studying for your civil FE exam. And before we get started, if you are looking for tips and strategies on how to pass your civil FE exam, be sure to hit that subscribe button and do not forget to check out some of the free resources listed down in the description box below. The first thing that you must do before you start studying is to build a solid foundation. What I mean by this is begin with the end in mind. Have you ever gone into the kitchen and started cooking dinner or lunch and midway through the meal, you realized you were out of a few ingredients. Well, for me, this really pisses me off and not only like messes up my flow, but then means I either have to cut off everything that I'm doing in the kitchen and go to the store to grab the other ingredients that I need, or I have to bug my girlfriend or some of my friends and ask them to go to the store so that I can have everything that I need for my food. This is the exact same way that you should think about things when it comes to studying for your FE. You wanna make sure that you have all the materials that you need to be successful when taking your test. So what materials might you need? Well, first and foremost, you got to have your FE handbook now you can download this handbook on the NCEES website, or you can purchase the physical copy online. You also need a really good calculator that is approved by the NCEES. And so my personal favorite is the TI, I don't know if this is gonna show you, but it's the TI 36X. It's a really good calculator and it is approved by the NCEES. Unfortunately, we cannot use the TI-84, which is the, I guess, the high function calculator that I used to be able to use in like middle school, high school. It used to show all the graphs and things that I needed to be able to solve problems a lot easier. But unfortunately on this test, they want us to use a scientific calculator. And so if you are looking to get these materials and get the correct approved calculators i have left links to those down in the description box below where you can purchase them from amazon the next thing you need to do before you actually start studying for your civil fe is to research and select the study resources that you're going to use in order to pass your FE. I know for some people, they like to just invest in a course that will help them pass their FE. You have courses out there like PPI to pass, you have Genie Prep, you have Direct Hub, you have Civil Engineering Academy, and a few others that are pretty popular. And then for some people, you don't want to actually pay a ton of money to take a course but you do want some resources to help you as you study on your own. And so you may want to get a self-study guide or a self-reference manual to help you as you study each concept along the way. I do offer my own complete self-study guide that goes through every topic that will be on the Civil FE exam as well as giving you links to videos, practice problems, practice quizzes, and clear solutions that will help you actually pass your civil FE. Now, if you're interested in this self-study guide, feel free to go down in the description box below and look for complete FE Pass Now Civil Study Guide and you will be able to click that link and access those documents. For an in-depth video on what you should look for in courses and in self-study guides, I have created a video that goes really, really deep into those things, and I'm gonna leave that video somewhere up here. Another thing that you need before you start studying for your civil FE is a plan. 
how are we going to reach our final destination without clear direction on where we need to go for your civil fe there is going to be so much content so many different topics that you're going to need to learn master and have practice through in order to you know pass this test so it's very important that you get organized and come up with a study plan over the next three to four months what i would advise doing is looking at all of the sections that will be on your civil fe and you can find that information in the ncees reference handbook i would go through and break up all of those topics so there's about 18 topics and in each of those topics there are subtopics so i would list out all of those and then beside them i would place like dates so that I know when I'm going to take time to learn about the material and practice and do some practice problems so that I'm ready to take my test. It's also nice in that study plan if you have some extra room for notes and to jot down specific details as to if you feel comfortable with the topic, if you've done enough practice problems, if you feel like you've mastered the concept and any formulas that are associated with those topics or subtopics. Now, I have created a study plan template that has all of that available for you and all you have to go in is write your dates in and check off your boxes whether you know if you can do the problems in three to five minutes just checking for those things that are going to be really helpful for you on test day now if you would like to access that document you can by just going down in the description box below and then another thing we must do before we actually start studying is determine our why why are we wanting to get our civil fe is it because we want to become a pe is it because we know that it will open some opportunities to make some more income is it because we just want to make sure that we're certified like what is our reasoning behind getting this ei behind our name and then once you figure out why you want to pass your FE, the next step is to write that down and put it somewhere where you're going to see it every single day. I know for some people you have a family where you're, you know, taking care of kids or you are going to work and working a nine to five and then, you know, you don't have much energy at the end of the day. So by writing out why you want to get your and pass your FE, it will help put things in perspective and give you kind of that motivation or that extra kick when you feel tired to know why you're doing all this for. It can be very easy to have a ton of motivation to begin with. And then over time, you just get frustrated. You feel like there's some concepts that you don't understand and you begin to study less, you take a step back. And so having that written out will give you maybe that extra boost that you need just to take a little bit more time to grasp the concepts and get ready for your test. Now, if you're finding any of this information valuable and helpful for you, I know that you would love my new ebook that I'm really excited to announce. Now in this ebook, it's going to give you tips and strategies on some things that you can do before you know taking your test during test day some things that you can do to prepare and make sure that you're ready and then regardless of the result whether you pass or you fail the exam it will give you strategies as to how to proceed so this is really important because some people just think once you pass your fe you know it's all said and done there's still paperwork that you have to do and some things that you have to do to officially get that fe behind your name so the more prepared you are the better you're going to be and the more ready you're going to be to actually get that that ei behind your name and now that you have an idea of some of the things you need to know before studying for the exam 
in the next video, I'm going to be going over some tips that will help you on how to study for the FE exam. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those bell notifications so that you know when I post. And do not forget to take advantage of some of those free resources listed down in the description box below. Thank you all for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.